Excellent lads. Good day, Wogues. How are you, Good son? Good to see you, sir. Good no to see worry. you. Thank you for coming all this distance to be with him. May I relieve you of these these heavy burdens that you carry? Uh, put them there. And... Good to see you. He's not doing too bad, is he? Eh? Three times a week, eh, girls? Not bad, eh? <laughs> All right, and four times this week, Wogey, eh? You want to see me when I'm rested? No worries. The nominations in the category of Best Comedy Series are Don Lever for A Fine Romance, David Croft for Heidi High, Ray Butt for Just Good Friends, and Paul Jackson for The Young Ones. Well, Soleil, you seem to be enjoying that. No worries. Well, that kind Fantastic. Of... Yeah. Could I'd we... I'd uh, like to say a few words, if I may. Certainly. <laughs> Your Royal Highness, distinguished members of the Academy, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, and bloody media. And I forgive me, that just slipped out. You know the feeling, fellas, but... Uh, <laughs> I'm in a state of arousal tonight, Perry. <laughs> I am. I'm about the most excited Australian cultural attaché you're going to run into in the historic old Grosvenor with the beautiful nicotine-stained chandeliers. <laughs> and I'm going to drop the magic word now, and that's entertainment. Entertainment is the name of the game, and that's the word that's on most of my check stubs, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> as, the Australian, as the Australian taxpayer knows full well. <laughs> it is, and it's a, it's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing, and there's a lot of comedians out here, so it ill behoves me to tell a joke, but I'm going to. <laughs> because it's a historic joke. It's never been told in mixed company before. <laughs> We are live, aren't we, Terry? <laughs> now... Well, we started out that way. This joke, no. <laughs> oh, a couple of the ladies are leaving. Don't worry, girls. <laughs> this joke, I'll make it brief, it's just... This joke is about a little old lady who was wandering around King's Cross in Sydney, which is the equivalent of Mayfair, where we are now. <laughs> and all of a sudden, <laughs> she's attacked by three great big sun-bronzed Australian drag queens. <laughs> she is. <laughs> Two of them held her down, and do you know what the third one done? <laughs> he done her hair. <laughs> Are you with me? <laughs> you see? You could tell that anywhere, couldn't you, yeah. ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> And so without any further ado, and the best yet to come, I've got a bit of a cold tonight, so if I cough, put your hand over your mouth, will you? <laughs> or I might have a bit of a sneezing attack, in which case, put your hand over your glass. <laughs> but I'd like to uh, open something up and whip something out now. <laughs> you with me? It takes a while to get it. <laughs> if you're married to my wife, you'd be lucky if you got it once a year, I'm telling you that. <laughs> this is exciting. The winner is Paul Jackson for the long run. <laughs> I worry. Come on, Paul. And Paul Jackson greeted by his wife there. He brought this talented young team together, Rick Mayle, Adrian Edmondson, Chris Ryan and Nigel.